Hello everyone. Our topic for today is what is body image and self-esteem. How do you feel about your body? If you don't immediately answer, great, with a smile, don't worry, you're not alone. This is a very common problem for people today, especially women, with advertisements and images of specific body type constantly bombarding us wherever we are or whatever we're doing on television, on our phone, on social media, on our communities, and while we're out shopping, when we are communities, it's easy to see how we can begin to feel bad about our body. Our body image affects our self-esteem and our mental health. So there is relationship between our body image, self-esteem, and our mental health. A body image, like, I don't like the way I look. I wish I look more like these other people. There's something wrong with me, which affects your self-esteem, or I don't think I'm good enough. Other people are better than me. I should be able to do these things. There must be something wrong with me if I can't do it. And then, of course, this affects your mental health. Like, nothing ever works out. If I can handle this problem, I must be a failure. If I can handle this problem, I must be a failure. If this isn't perfect, it's a total disaster. I feel overwhelmed and low. I don't take time out to take care of myself. So what is body image? Body image is the perception that the person has of their physical self and the thoughts and feelings that result from that perception. So when we say perception, this is our way of regarding, understanding, or interpreting something, or it is a mental impression. So it, ang body image is a mental impression of how you see yourself, your, your physical self. Anong tingin mo sa sarili mo physically? Payat ka ba? Maganda ka? Mataba ka? So, Anong thoughts mo? Anong iniisip mo about yourself? And ano yung feelings mo no? about yourself? Are you happy about yourself? Are you, are you, or are you disappointed about yourself? Hindi ka masaya about yourself? No? Or nagagalit ka sa sarili mo? And that is your body image. Okay? So there are two types of body image. We have positive body image and we have negative body image. So pag sinabi natin positive body image, these are realistic perception, appreciating the way your body is, understanding healthy bodies come in all shapes and sizes, understanding self-worth is not based on physical appearance. Then Pero ka namang uh, negative body image kapag unrealistic perception about your body, focusing on the things you want to change, no? lagi kang gumagaya sa mga classmate mo o sa ibang tao, or you're comparing your body to others, kinukumpara mo yung sarili mo, makatawan mo no? sa iba. Feelings of guilt or shame about your body's appearance. No? Nagigilty ka or nahihiya ka, kinakahiya mo yung sarili mo, yung appearance mo. That is negative body image. Yung positive body image, sinatanggap niya. No? Kung ano yung katawan niya, tinatanggap niya. Okay? Yung negative body image naman ay kinakahiya niya yung kanyang body image. What is body image and self-esteem? Body image is both mental picture you have of your own body and how you see yourself when you look in a mirror. So, tingnan nyo nga ang inyong mga sarili sa salamin. Anong nakikita nyo sa salamin nyo? No? Meron ba kayong positive body image or negative body image? Kasi kung ano yung perception nyo sa katawan ninyo, it will affect your self-esteem. 
having a positive body image means that most of the time, you see yourself as you really are. You accept your body and feel comfortable in it. No? Even when it may not match other people's ideals, comfortable ka sa ano kung ano yung katawan mo. Okay? Most days, you feel confident and happy with the way you look and some days, you might wish you could change how you look. Okay? So, meron ka daw positive body image kapag nakikita mo yung sarili mo kung ano ito at tinatanggap mo no? at komportable ka sa katawan mo. Okay? Pwedeng hindi siya sumakasang ayon no? sa ideal na katawan No, like for example, hindi naman parang pang model yung katawan mo or hindi ka sexy. Although, <clears throat> hindi nagmamatch yung body image mo sa ideal no, na katawan ng ibang tao, you still accept it. You're still comfortable in it. Most days naman, you feel confident and normal lang daw na sometimes no, you wish you can change How you look, that's normal sometimes. A negative body image naman involves being overly focused on comparing. No? Lagi mo kinukumpare yung size mo, yung shape mo, yung appearance mo to unrealistic ideals. No? Meron kasi tayong mga na unrealistic ideals na no? pinapakita sa atin ng mga advertisements no? na nakikita natin sa sa social media, yung nakikita natin sa mga magazines, yung mga artista, yung mga celebrities. No? Sila yung mga ideal na mga katawan. No? Siyempre, may mga nagparitoke na dyan. No? The, they have the means no? to repair kung anong mga flaws nila sa katawan nila. So, hindi daw natin dapat no? i-compare. If you are a person who compare no? your size, your shape, your appearance, doon sa unrealistic ideals na yun, then you have a negative body image. No? Holding yourself to a thin ideal or an athletic ideal may cause you to develop unhealthy self-talk, low self-esteem, or disordered eating patterns. There are four aspects of body image. First one is the perceptual body image or This is how you see your body. Next is affective body image is how you feel about your body. And then cognitive body image or how you think about your body. Behavioral body image or the way you behave as, res as a result of your perception or perceptual affective cognitive body image. When your body image is positive, you are able to accept, syempre, appreciate, and respect your body. You won't necessarily avoid feeling and insecurities or think your body is perfect, but you will be able to acknowledge any insecurities for what they are and believe that your body is perfect for you. Poor body image comes from negative thoughts and feelings about your appearance. A healthy body image, on the other hand, is made up of thoughts and feelings that are positive. Body image is a major factor in self-esteem. So, napaka-importante yung perception mo sa katawan mo no? sa yung self-esteem. So, kapag negative ang body image mo, of course, it will lead to low self-esteem. At kapag positive yung body image mo, it will lead to a higher self-esteem. According to clinical psychologist and faculty member Elizabeth Halstead, three components, there are three components to having a positive body image or tinatawag natin PBI, positive body image. Okay. One is self-esteem or valuing ourselves and believing that others appreciate us and enjoy our company. That is self-esteem. Do you value yourself? A positive attitude. No? Another one is a positive attitude. 
accepting our strengths and weaknesses, and avoiding three negative attitudes. What are these three negative attitudes? First is, first is perfectionism, holding ideals or standards that are impossible or next to impossible to achieve. Next is comparing, making social comparison with others. That is very negative. No, don't compare yourself to others kasi iba ka, you are a unique individual. And another one, another negative attitude, is being highly critical or judgmental. The more critical and judgmental we are of others, the more likely we are to be critical and judgmental of ourselves. The last component is emotional stability or maintaining a healthy connection to our thoughts and feelings while also being able to share our experiences with others. And that is emotional stability. Ano naman yung self-esteem? So sabi natin kanina na ang self-esteem ay maaapektuhan ng ating body image. Ang self-esteem is your overall opinion of yourself. How you feel about your abilities and limitations. When you have healthy self-esteem, you feel good about yourself and see yourself as deserving the respect of others. When you have low self-esteem, you put little value of your opinions and ideas. Self-esteem is how you value and respect yourself as a person. Self-esteem affects how you take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Self-esteem is the way you think and feel about yourself as a person. Some people think of their self-esteem as their inner voice or self-dialogue. Okay? Yung parang inner voice na naririnig natin na? or self-dialogue. The voice that tells you whether you are good enough to do or achieve something. Okay, so makikita niyo ito sa drawing, no? There are uh, dalawang inner voice sa isang tao, no? It's the same person, no? Meron siyang negative inner voice. I can't do this, no? I have low self-esteem. Hindi ka karapat-dapat, pangit ka, di ba? And then, uh, wala kang, ano, no? hindi mo kaya, mahina ka. Ayan, negative. No? I can't do this. Pero meron din tayong positive, no? The inner voice, no? I can do this, no? Those with poor self-esteem, however, are often much more critical of themselves. No? They find it harder to bounce back from challenges. Mababa ang resiliency nila. Uh, they are not resilient, no? This may lead them to avoid difficult situations. So, ayaw nila ng mga mahihirap na situations. Ayaw nila ng mga challenges. Kasi sa tingin, sa tingin nila, hindi nila kaya. However, actually decrease their self-esteem still further because they feel even worse about themselves as a result. Okay? Sabi nila that uh, the victims of domestic violence and abuse often have low self-esteem. This may be because their abusers have spent time belittling them and making them feel bad about themselves. Reducing their self-esteem. However, it may also be that their low esteem made them more vulnerable to being abused because they did not feel that they were valuable. A lack of self-esteem can therefore influence how people behave, not to mention what they achieve in lives. Kahit gaano kataas, no? Yung mga na-reach mo na or kung gaano ka a successful bilang itang isang tao, pwede pa rin maging mababa ang self-esteem mo. O mababa ang pag-value mo sa sarili mo. Okay, look at this drawing. No? I can't do it. I'm not worthy. I must be perfect. Nobody loves me. 
I'm not good enough. I must not make a mistake. So, itong babae dito sa drawing, no, pinapakita niya kung gaano kababa ang kanyang self-esteem. Why do people experience low self-esteem? There are many reasons why someone might have low self-esteem. However, it often starts in childhood. Perhaps with the feeling that you were unable to live up to expectations. It can also be the result of adult experiences, such as difficult relationship, adult personal, or at work. How to improve our self-esteem? It's important no, to improve our self-esteem. Dapat meron tayong gawin. First is to identify and challenge our negative belief. The first step is to identify and then challenge your negative belief about yourself. Notice your thoughts about yourself. For example, you might find yourself thinking, I'm not good enough to do that, or I have no friends. When you do look for evidence that contradicts those statements, write down both statements and evidence and keep looking back at it to remind yourself that your negative belief about yourself are not true. Next one, number two, is to identify the positive about yourself. In general, positive internal dialogue is a big part of improving your self-esteem. If you catch yourself saying things like, I'm not good enough of, or I'm a failure, you can start to turn things around by saying, I can beat this and I can become more confident by viewing myself in a more positive way. It is also a good idea to write down positive things about yourself, such as being good at a sport or nice things that people have said about you. When you start to feel low, look back at these things and remind yourself that there is plenty of good about yourself. Number three, build positive relationships and avoid negative ones. To begin with, you will catch yourself falling back into old negative habits. But with regular effort, you can start to feel more positive and build your self-esteem. If there are people who make you feel bad about yourself, try to avoid them. Build relationships with people who make you feel good about yourself and avoid the relationship to drag you down. Iwasan natin yung mga toxic na mga tao sa paligid natin. Iwasan natin yung mga negative na tao no, sa paligid natin. Give yourself a break. You don't have to be perfect every hour. Of every day, you don't even have to feel good about yourself all the time. Self-esteem varies from situation to situation, from day to day and hour to hour. Some people feel relaxed and positive with friends and colleagues, but uneasy and shy with strangers. Others may feel totally in command of themselves at work, but struggle socially or vice versa. Give yourself a break. We all have times when we feel a bit down or find it harder to maintain our self-belief. The key is not to be too hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself and not too critical. Like comparing yourself to others because this can reinforce your negative views and also give other people a negative opinion of you. You can help to boost your self-esteem by giving yourself a treat Whenever you succeed in doing something hard or just for managing a particularly bad day. 
i-treat mo naman yung sarili mo pa minsan-minsan. No? There are good days, there are bad days. No? So, kapag naka-accomplish ka ng something, then mag-relax ka. You don't need to uh, spend so much. No? Just uh, go to a certain place na makakapag-relax ka, na mag-meditate ka, no? or kumain ka. No? Number five, Become more assertive and learn to say no. Developing your assertiveness can help to improve your self-esteem. Sometimes acting as if you believe in yourself can actually help to increase self-belief. Even if you don't believe, just act. No, something, some act. Masabi na dito, sometimes act as if you believe in yourself can actually help to increase your self-esteem. Okay? And sometimes it's okay to say no, no, just... Depende, no? So, kung sino ang kausap mo, sometimes we have to be polite also in saying, no. And I can do it, I will do it. No? If you think that you can do it, then you will do it. For improve your physical health, try taking more exercise, eating well, getting enough sleep, Make time to relax. And to do something that you want to do rather than something that someone else expects you to do. Next is take more challenges. One way to improve your self-esteem can actually to take on a challenge. This doesn't mean that you need to do everything yourself. Part of the challenge might be to seek help when you need it. But be prepared to try something that you know will be difficult to achieve. Huwag kang matakot no, to do challenges. Mag-umpisa ka sa maliit na challenge. No? And then, eventually to a bigger challenge. So, that's it guys. If you like this video, please share, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell.